Throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be, of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world, explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. Snakes are among the most fascinating, unique, and widespread animals on the planet. Without limbs of any kind, they are subjected to a form of locomotion uncommon to most animals, traversing landscapes with their muscles by winding, writhing, and slithering across nearly any terrain with astounding grace and coordination. Many are gifted with lethal natural weapons, such as bone-crushing constriction, expansive jaws, effective camouflage, or potent venom more than making up for their lack of limbs. Animals of varying shapes and sizes count snakes among their natural predators, including mammals, birds, amphibians, and reptiles, even other snakes. There are more than 3,000 species of snake. Some, such as the thread snake, are so small that they can coil upon small coins. And some are so large such as the 300-pound green anaconda, that they can swallow whole animals as large as a deer. They are found across every continent save for Antarctica, and thriving in nearly every form of environment, from temperate and tropical forests, to deserts and mountains, to the very oceans. With a myriad of strange, almost alien features, and being found in nearly every place on Earth. People across the ancient world have featured snakes in their myths, in both benevolent and malevolent lights. They have been portrayed as gods, as monsters, heroes, benefactors, tricksters, deceivers, healers, and more. With such a vast array of portrayals that sometimes even differ within one mythology, let alone between multiple, what is it about snakes that have such an impact on human psychology and human culture? There is a deeply ingrained fear, or at least discomfort, regarding snakes embedded within many people, hearkening back to prehistoric times. It could be their unique locomotion, their success as hunters, or lethal potential that is the source of ophidiophobia, or fear of snakes. Their icy glare, endless patience, and calculated movements can easily raise a few hairs. But whatever the cause may be, the fact remains that snakes can, and have, inspired great fear. As a result, many cultures throughout history have demonized snakes, sometimes having them embody the absolute worst traits of humanity and the world as a whole. Tales of snake-like beings and creatures of the Near East often symbolized chaos, destruction, and drastic change to life. In Egyptian mythology, the dark god Apophis, or Apep, took the form of a gigantic, venomous cobra that would battle Ra and his companions in an attempt to stop the sun from rising in order to conquer the world. Persian myth tells of Azidahaka, a monstrous serpent that was created by the evil god Ahriman to swallow the sun and destroy life on earth. Mesopotamian mythology had Tiamat, who represented the embodiment of primordial chaos from which all good and evil arose. Snakes often act as a basis for many monstrous beasts and villains of Greek mythology. Medusa, arguably the most famous monster of Greek myth, and her sister the Gorgons were serpentine in appearance and bore venomous snakes in place of their hair. Typhon, deemed the father of all monsters, is often depicted with snake-like features, such as having a hundred different heads each with a serpent's neck, or his legs being coils of writhing snakes. His wife Echidna, likewise, 
was depicted as half snake and half woman. Among their children was the Hydra, a nine-headed snake monster with toxic breath and enchanted venom that could regrow two new heads should it ever lose any. And Ledan, a dragon-like serpent that guarded the sacred apples of the Hesperides, both of whom would fall to the might of the hero, Hercules. Norse mythology tells of Jormungand, the Midgard serpent who lives in the oceans, so large that he could wrap itself around the entire world. Jormungand would go on to face Thor in the Battle of Ragnarok, perishing against the warrior god, who would likewise succumb to the serpent's venom. Many different Native American mythologies feature creatures collectively referred to as the Horned Serpents, who live in the wilds away from people, and who are known to be deadly towards humans who encounter them. In the book of Genesis in the Bible, it was a serpent who tempted Eve into disobeying the Christian God and consuming the forbidden fruit, ousting her and Adam from the Garden of Eden. The serpent in the Garden of Eden came to symbolize pure evil to those who would follow Abrahamic faiths and would paint snakes in a wicked light from then on. Snakes would even be the basis of many variants of dragons, many of which, particularly those found in Western stories, would become the artistic embodiment of pure evil and destruction, including Python of Greek mythology, Inganyamba of Zulu mythology, the Lambton Worm of English folklore, and the Basilisk of Roman mythology. Though snakes have garnered a dark and arguably unfair reputation in many cultures, there are still many depictions of snakes that are far less malevolent, acting in roles of healers and even creators. Even cultures that feature dangerous or evil snakes and snake-like beings often include benevolent snakes within their mythology. Egyptian mythology has the three cobra goddesses, Wajet, the protector of the pharaoh, and an eye of Ra. Renanutet, protector of the harvest and nursing infants. And Meritsegar, protector of the tombs and tomb workers. In Korean mythology, the goddess of wealth, Aespen, was depicted as an ebony-colored snake with human ears. Quetzalcoatl of Aztec mythology was iconically depicted as a flamboyantly plumed serpent with feathery wings, and he gifted mankind with knowledge such as agriculture and medicine. Asclepius, the Greek god of healing and medicine, was accompanied by snake familiars, who would slither across the bodies of the sick while they slept in his shrines, and would lick them back to health. Stories from India tell of the Nagas and the Naginis, shape-shifting beings that were half-human and half-serpent in appearance, and extremely powerful magic users. They were more than capable of great calamities, but were often portrayed as being invaluable allies to both mankind and the gods. Many Aboriginal Australian cultures feature the Rainbow Serpent in their myths, going by countless names and being responsible for the rain and waterways of Australia, shaping the very land with its movements. In Chinese mythology, the goddess Nuwa, who created human beings, was depicted as a snake-woman hybrid. In the cosmology of the Fon people of Benin, Edo Huedo is a serpent deity who created the Earth's ridges and rivers and sustains the form of the universe by supporting the world on top of its coiled body and wrapping around it in order to hold it together. Even some versions of dragons, namely those from East Asia, who coincidentally are much more serpent-like in appearance than their western counterparts, 
were viewed as kind and generous towards humans, though still regarded as powerful and capable of harm should they feel slighted. For thousands of years, people have been fascinated with and terrified of snakes. When one takes a close look, it is easy to see why. They are truly unlike any other creature on Earth in terms of appearance, movement, and more. Being so widely distributed across the world, snakes appear in countless mythologies. As they differ greatly between one another in nature, so too do they differ in the myths and folktales that they appear in. Oftentimes dangerous, even evil, but also frequently benevolent and healing. Something to keep in mind with every one of these mythical and folklore depictions of snakes, though they all differ in one aspect or another, they are always depicted as immensely powerful. Perhaps universally, snakes have come to symbolize the various powers of the world, power of the body, the mind, and spirit, the powers of good and evil, power of change and transformation, fertility, birth, renewal, death, rebirth, immortality, the list goes on and on. We must remember that snakes are an important part of this world, integral parts in their respective environments. To lose them would risk ecological imbalance and the loss of some of Earth's most fascinating creatures. They can be dangerous, sure, especially when they are cornered, but so can any animal that feels threatened. Keep in mind, snakes are neither inherently good nor evil. They are but animals, doing what they do in order to survive in a harsh and unforgiving world.